Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Right, let's give this brain matter a go. Um, so basically I have my shape loaded. I'm in the shading tab. I'm going to enable viewport shading using the cycles render engine and I already have a principled BSDF uh, shader loaded. Now I actually need to duplicate that. So I'll press shift D to duplicate that. I'm going to need a couple of color ramps. Pop that one in here, duplicate that to put out here. Uh, I'm going to need a Musgrave texture. So we're pressing Shift A to search for these textures, by the way. I'm going to add a mapping node and a texture coordinate and change the output from texture coordinate to object. Uh, I'm going to need a bump node in here. And then I'll add some extra bits as we're going through. Um, so let's start connecting these up and we can see what's going on. So let's connect the Musgrave texture to the color ramp here. I'm also going to connect it to the height on the bump node, which is going to connect get connected to the normal of the first principled shader. Uh, I'm also going to plug that Musgrove texture into the second color ramp, which is going to go into the subsurface color of the second shader. Uh, this other color ramp is going to go into the first principled shader in the base color. And now we need to mix these together. So, um, I need a mix shader. I'm going to take the output from this first principled shader into the first slot. And I actually want to mix that with something else. I want to mix that with a glossy shader. For the factor, I'm going to take that from the Musgrave texture. And because I'm mixing all of this with this, I'm going to need another mix shader. We're going to take the factor, the color from there to be the factor. Plug this top mix shader into the top slot and then plug the bottom shader in here. And then connect that up to the material output. Now, looks a total mess right now. Uh, so let's make some changes. For the Musgrave texture, we're going to change the type to Rigid Multifractal. And you can kind of see already that brainy texture. Change the scale to 15. Leave the detail and dimension as they are. Change the Lacanarity to 1. And everything else to 0. For the bump node, we're going to leave the strength as it is and change the distance to 0 0.8. Um, actually, maybe 0 0.6. And then for this color ramp, we're going to need to add two additional colors. I'm going to change this first color to a deep red. So if we change the value to, let's say, 0 0.8, zero one and then saturation all the way up we get a very deep red uh, actually let's delete that and delete that bring this one over go back and select the original and then chuck in two additional colors my hope was that they were going to span through the red but they didn't so we're going to 
increase the value to give us a lighter pink or a lighter red maybe down a bit up a bit and then with this one we're going to try and get something in between those two squeeze them close to each other so there's barely a gap maybe bring that out a bit We'll basically look for the sort of reddish um, blood type texture in the recesses. And the white gray matter on top pointing out. So I'll leave that as it is for now. For this principled shader, we're going to leave the specular as it is, drop the specular tint and the roughness. Uh, actually, the roughness we'll have at point 0.1. Sheen, nope. Click out roughness, nope. Everything else we're going to leave as it is. For this color ramp, we're going to change the interpolation to B spline. And what that does is smooths out the graduation of the detail. And we're going to bring this white to roughly here. And then on the second principled shader, subsurface, we're going to increase to one. Specular to 0.5, roughness to 0.1, tint all the way down, and leave everything else as it is. And then one more change for the glossy, changing the roughness to 0.1. So, there we go. It's a bit of a mess, but that should give us what we're looking for except there's one thing that I'd like to do and that's bring this color into the glossy. There we go. Okay, so that's the node tree. Let's try and move these around so there's less confusion. There we go. So let's send this to render and see what we get. Okay, and there we go. Nice gory brain matter for you with all the gory splurge draining into the recesses. Um, now, that did speed up after about 500 samples, so you could probably get away with less than 1,000, which is what I was using. But I hope that helps you in some way, shape, or form. Probably not with your archviz, but if you like your fantasy art and your sort of gory battles, maybe it'll come in useful. Okay, thanks for watching. Please remember to give the video a thumbs up and subscribe for future content and tell all of your Blender mates as well. In the meantime, thanks for watching.